neighbor, uh, Blind Jason. He actually came over and welded this up the rest of the way for me. Uh, the welds don't look great, but he is blind. What's up, it is Casey from Casey's Customs. We're back on the beautiful 1965 Mustang. And in this video, we start doing twin turbo stuff, baby. Let's go. It is a Mustang video day. We need to get this thing ready to go in five days. It's going to Holly Ford Fest. I want to get the body work like 95% of the way done. So we have a ton of body work we need to do. Also, I want to get the turbos mounted. I don't think they're going to be running, fixed, and tuned in five days. But I'd like to get them mounted to kind of see how everything is going to work out. If you didn't watch my other video, you would know this turbo kit is not even for this engine. We're going to have to do a lot of cutting and fabricating. But I like to cut shit, so that's okay. The only turbo kit I could find for a 4.0 Mustang was like six grand and I'm not spending six grand on a motor. I'm probably gonna send to the moon. So I bought an older kit that was a little bit cheaper and then I bought brand new headers that actually go to this motor. So we're gonna start putting some of this shit together, see what all we gotta cut, see what we gotta work. I think what I'm gonna have to do most likely is cut the header flange off of this and then spin it 180 degrees so that my headers come up this way and then they can go straight to my turbo but I don't know yet right now I'm just moving with my hands acting like I know what I'm talking about but yeah let's get to work the first thing I'm going to do is put bondo on because I can put the bondo on and then while it's drying I can mess with the turbo stuff so we're going to start slathering some mud on this baby These headers have a solid plate across them, like most aftermarket headers, but your stock ones don't. And on these motors, there is all kinds of shit in the way of these. And what you can do is you can take that out technically, but I didn't want to. So I spent like the last hour and a half just getting shit out of the way, unbolted. And now, I think... Perfect! They are on there. The flange is actually tight to the block. Check it out. Got the other side working too. Now, none of that matters because I need to flip all that around, but I didn't want to start cutting and modifying shit if I couldn't at least get the flange sealed to the block. But we're good now. And, and the good news is all the shit that I took off, I can put back pretty easily, but it gave me a ton of room. I have so much room in here. This is way more room than I had on the 51 Chevy that I turbocharged. I ended up having to run that turbo like up in the inner fender. I can kind of do whatever I want here. I think I want two of them like right here and then just running straight in. I might bypass the intercooler and just go straight in, but I don't know. We're going to uh, cut the hell out of these brand new headers and start seeing what we can do. Dude, that stainless ain't no joke. Okay, so I got the headers cut off the flange. They go this way. I put that on the motor and then just sat this backwards and I think it's going to work. So I'm just going to tack weld it. I'm not going to weld it fully and we'll get it up under there and see if it's going to work. But it looks like, I don't want to jinx it, it looks like we're good where we're at. Check it out. We got one of the old spinny boys up there. Coming straight off the header, flip the header upside down. I think that'll work. And then we'll just go whoosh. I don't know, we might use the intercooler, we might not. I got some room down there, but I don't have a ton. If I do the intercooler, I'm gonna have to do some wonky shit going in here, but I don't know, we might be able to do it. It's not really the end of the world if it doesn't have an intercooler, but what really matters is when I get the other side done and then we can kind of start figuring out what we're gonna have room for. This side was the harder side, so hopefully that side is even easier, but I don't know, we'll see. Sweet, man, awesome. I got extremely lucky, cut this flange off, flipped it upside down just like we do the other side. I just tack welded it, put it over, fits perfect. It's gonna be fine. That is extremely lucky because I wasn't sure. I thought maybe I'd cut this flange off 
have to remake these headers myself. Huge time saver. Check this out. It's got the other side welded up. And look at this. Perfect. All I did was cut the flange off and flip it 180 degrees so it's shooting up instead of shooting down. They both ended up working out great. I assumed in theory it would work, but I never thought I would actually pull it off. That other kit that was like six grand, the main reason it was so expensive was because of the custom headers. And I made this $100 pair of headers work in about an hour's worth of work. So, so happy about that. Just a stroke of good luck. Okay, check it out. Got them both mounted. I had this one mounted a lot lower. It was probably two inches lower. I didn't like it because my exhaust will come out of here now. And it just, it seemed like it was gonna run into stuff. My computer all still needs to go back in here somewhere. So I moved it up a little bit. Looks great. It's more in line with the intakes now. The only problem is we might've made that bitch a little too tall. And, um, yeah. If I have to cut this out and redo it all, I'm gonna be pissed. So let's uh, throw the hood on real quick and see what happens. Really hoping this hood scoop comes into play here. Oh, we're money. Oh, we're money. I got like a two inch gap. Maybe more, maybe three inch gap. Let's go. Okay, sweet. That makes me so happy. Oh, that was about to be like six hours of work that was gonna need cut out. Oh, also fun story. I said the driver's side will be the hard side. I'm gonna start on the hard side first. Then I'm gonna do the passenger side. It's the easy side. Passenger side ended up being harder. Son of a bitch. I'm the best aluminum welder that's ever existed. I mean, gloppy, ugly fucking tax for the win, baby. Check this out, we were at an awesome start here. I thought originally I could just have a 90 go straight to this turbo, but it didn't look right because it was lower. So I cut it and then added a little 40 or a 60, whatever that is. So now it's actually the same height going across. And then those two will go into this. This is my stock intake and it'll bolt right in. So it'll have a two into a one. I think that's gonna look really cool. But yeah, uh, this was an eight hour day, so I'm done. We're putting in so many hours in this video and count down four days until we gotta leave for Holly. So yeah. So I really like how this is looking, but these two pieces need to get closer together or there's no way I'm gonna be able to make a two into one and then go into the throttle body. So I think I gotta come in here and just take a big old cut out of both sides. And I don't have any more of this pipe, so we definitely need to make this count. Uh, that's probably too big. Here's what I need to cut, but I'm gonna cut probably a half inch less than that. We'll just start grinding it down and shaving it down until it's gonna fit perfect. Check this out. I am liking the way it looks. Here's the problem. I've tried to take it over to the bench to weld it about three different times just keeps falling apart on me i was gonna mark it you know real real precise and then just take it over in the bench and try and get it exactly i don't think it's gonna happen because there's too many angles i don't know if my welder will reach over here but there's a damn good chance i'm gonna weld it right where it's at i don't know the next clip you're either gonna see me welding this or somehow i'm gonna figure out how to weld it on the bench but i've <laughs> i've taken it off and on so many times that's where we're at baby So the last video I have here on this car was me welding up the intake 
for the twin turbos. That was five days ago. It is currently Sunday. Holly Ford Fest is going on right now. It's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I am not there. Obviously, I am still in Missouri working on the Mustang. We had a little bit of a health situation going on with my kid. He had an infected tooth. It kind of spiraled, got worse, had to have surgery. Just all kinds of fun shit. He's fine now, it's okay. But I certainly wasn't gonna let my kid have surgery and me be 800 miles away. My family is about the only thing I care about in the world. I'm definitely not gonna chance me not being there while he's having surgery. So like I said, everything is cool now. No big deal, but I am obviously not at the show. It really sucks. I've been building this car for five months now. We have made <laughs> incredible strides in five months. But uh, I did want to make it to the show. Obviously, I've talked to Holly. They're way cool with it. They understand everything. No big deal. <laughs> My rep that I talked to with Holly, he actually said, hey, let me know how he's doing. So he wanted follow-ups when the little man's doing better, which is pretty awesome if I do say so myself. But we're still making YouTube videos because we're YouTubers. So I think what I'll end up doing whenever I get a little bit farther along with the build, I think I will do to make up for people that wanted to see it in person is I'm going to do like an open house or a Casey's Customs car show. I've been talking about it for a long time. I think it's probably time to pull the trigger on it. And uh, I don't know when I'm gonna do it. It'll probably be early next year or maybe even late this year, but I don't know. But uh, I think it'd be kind of cool to not only show off the Mustang, but just other cool stuff we got going on here. I always have people that want to stop by. And yeah, I think it may, might be fun to do like a car show, just get kind of all the builds out there, have a good time. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think about that, if that's something you guys would uh, be interested in. But life goes on and the videos go on. We gotta get our asses back to work. It's about the only thing that keeps me sane whenever there's shit going on is sticking my nose in the dirt and just working my ass off. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We got our intake kind of sitting where we want it, but the bad part is now we have to make it fit to the stock intake. So a lot of cutting, a lot of welding, and uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So this is the last piece of our puzzle. I don't need the 90 on it. That's just how it is right now. But it will go there and then that will go there. Here's the only problem I'm running into. Look how thin that is. That is like 18 gauge sheet metal thin. And at least this was, you know, whatever, eighth inch. I, uh, you know, I joke about being the best aluminum welder in the world. Um, in case you didn't know, that is 100% sarcasm. I don't know if I can weld that thin of a freaking piece to that thick of a piece. I guess we're going to find out. Let's get to it, I guess. things we'll need to weld on like sensors but we don't need to do it right now my neighbor uh blind jason he actually came over and welded this up the rest of the way for me uh the welds don't look great but he is blind and they are stuck together which is nice that's all we really needed so thank you to him thanks a lot blind jason you really helped me out but uh, what we need to do now is trim this to make sure everything is fitting all right and put our hose clamps on to make sure everything is actually where it needs to be and it will clamp down and be airtight so let's do that Jack it out. Damn, that looks good. We still got to put this on here. This is the uh, air fuel mixture thing, which is for the stock engine management system, which we'll end up having to upgrade. Obviously, you can't run the stock, you know, setup. It will need tuned heavily or just probably just have a whole different engine management system. I'm going to try and use the stock as much as I can just because there's not a lot of options for the 4.0. But well, we, we ran into this with my 51 Chevy. It's on a uh, like a 2000 S10. And I just basically tweaked a couple things and the stock setup actually worked. But that is one tiny turbo, not two turbos. So I'm 99% sure this won't work, but we'll see when we get to it. Most likely I'll have to have the ECU flash and reprogrammed and all that fun stuff. But we'll, we'll run into that when we get to it. We still have so much other stuff we have to do. But uh, yeah, I don't hate it. I'm going to shave this thing down so I can probably get it right there. And uh, we'll weld that on and then I'm done. We ain't going to mess with the intake anymore. We'll probably start figuring out what we're going to do with the exhaust now because I don't know. It would be super cool to just have them coming out the hood, but that's not super practical. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. We're going to find out here in a second, but let's get this guy mounted and then we'll start messing with the exhaust. Well, 
Blind Jason came back over, hooked it up with a little globby weld. It's okay. We're not going to judge. He's blind. Uh, also, it's airtight, which is nice. That's all that matters. This will plug in here. This will plug in here. Perfect. Should have all the readings we need. I am so excited with how much shit I've got done with this turbo kit. Like I said, this is not a kit for this car. This is just basically a universal kit I'm working out. And I lost damn near five days off this episode because my little man wasn't feeling good. So I'm really excited with how far we've got. Uh, we're going to start on the exhaust now. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I'm definitely going to start bolting them up and kind of figure it out. Out of the hood would be chef's kiss but it's a real pain in the ass when you do that but i don't know we could also build these to go out of the hood and then you know just have another set that runs normal with mufflers i'm gonna start playing with them let me see if i got them on already i think i might have showed them already in this video but in case i didn't yeah they're already kind of a certain way and i don't even know if it's gonna bolt yeah see like that's not even gonna work where that is so we're gonna have to tweak some stuff anyway but uh boy i don't know you know <laughs> i mean i don't know let's let's cut some shit and figure it out so we have a bit of a problem it's not a problem but it's kind of a problem i think i want the exhaust to be out of the hood which <laughs> i really like it I actually do. And I think I'm gonna do it. I mean, we need to get wild. That's pretty wild. And I don't hate it. <laughs> you actually, you do it something like this so it, you know, it kind of gets out a little bit of the hood. I just don't know how I'm gonna do it yet. Okay, let's do it. We can always change it later, but I got the flange just cut. The flange that I put on there, we just have to put these, you know, where we want them now and then tack them. I think, we're, I think we're going straight out, baby. The cool thing is I measured it out and they won't be in the way of this. They'll actually be like right here. So we just have two, you know, two little, you know, one of those things. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty stupid, but I kind of love it also. I think that's what we're going to do for now. Might change our plans later, of course, but let's just get these babies going straight up. That turbo over there is about two inches more forward and it's about two inches closer to the motor than the outside. So we want them to match both sides. I think this is going to have to kind of go over. <laughs> have to go over like that and then up. This is a real pain in the ass. But it needs to go over and then up. Do I have exhaust bins here? We're going to answer that question next. baby <laughs> look at how friggin far i had to move this one back i thought it wasn't back as far as it was it's actually like four inches forward than the other one but uh we got this pulled back oh yeah now this one's obviously a little higher we'll have to trim that down i don't know what i'm gonna do for it coming out of the hood i think people run like little 90s you know so you don't get rain down in there i'll have to look that up and see how they do that but uh i mean that just looks like a fun setup <laughs> We didn't do much body work in this video. Really only put some on. I sand a little bit, put some more on. But uh, hey, man, <laughs> for, considering this is not a kit for this car. This is not a universal, you know, this is just a universal kit to have turbos mounted exhaust basically done intake basically done i mean that's huge uh the, we, we spent like a month doing it doing the turbo work on the uh 51 chevy it was obviously you know a pain in the ass but uh yeah to knock it out in like one episode is crazy so yeah <laughs> we did not make it to our show but baby she's coming along I'm getting real excited if you aren't already subscribed Please hit that button now. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, comment, all that good stuff they tell you at the end of videos. Check out some of my other videos. Peace. Love it.